This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Unfortunately, uh, Ricky Steamboat was not going to be wrestling much longer, even in one-off matches. He had uh, quite the incident here in 2010. Meltzer would write just one day after the release of a DVD, looking back on his life and wrestling career, Ricky Steamboat was fighting for his life in a Tampa hospital. Uh, he's 57, was taken to the hospital in Tampa, where based on that week, he had been tra helping train the wrestlers in developmental on June 30th, two days after an angle on raw, where he was beaten down and steamboat had been complaining about headaches and neck pain after the angle. And they even say on TV that he's suffering from uh, a neck and some rib injuries in reality, he's got a freaking brain tumor. And this is, uh, he's taken a slam from David Otunga running clothesline from uh, skip Sheffield, who we know is Ryback. And a perfect looking 450 from Justin Gabriel, according to Meltzer. But he's in the middle of guys throwing worked punches and kicks, and these final three moves in the angle lands him in the hospital for real. And they even do a, a sit down on camera with you and, and uh, Jerry Lawler, and you say it's pretty bad. And uh, he's diagnosed originally with a brain aneurysm, but it's not really written about this way in the observer, but me and, you know, from talking to Ricky and obviously you much more than I, he was in a bad way here in the fight of his life. Well, it was a brain aneurysm, I believe. Right. Yes. Um, that's serious in any terms. When somebody says they had a brain aneurysm, you need to sit up in your chair and start paying attention. And, uh, I heard from the office and I heard from Ricky's family and, uh, you know, I was on top of it and they said, yeah, it's bad. It's really bad. And Ricky was in intensive care. I want to say seven, 10 days, something like that. And in the hospital a month, right out a month, that's, that's serious. When somebody's in the hospital a month, that's, that's serious business. Yes, it is. And, uh, when they finally, he was able to travel. Uh, they had to, you know, put him on a bus. He couldn't even fly. The pressure, a month later, he couldn't even fly. They had to send a bus down to get him. And, you know, Ricky went through some very serious times. And it was just, just shows you, you know, this is a guy that was in great shape for any age, much less his age. And, uh, you know, people get hurt in our business. And uh, Ricky got hurt, and he got hurt bad. And, and uh we were on pins and needles for a while. Thank God that he pulled out of it. But even to this day, I ask him, you know, how you doing this stuff? And I think he has some leftover, you know, residual from that injury, like memory and some of that stuff that he never had before. Right. So thank God he made it through, but it was, uh, it was some pretty harrowing times. It's really unbelievable that you think about you know, Ricky steamboat and you think about all the bumps that he took and just three here. And, uh, one of them does him in and you just, you net, you can never take your health for granted in pro wrestling, I guess is the lesson here. Fair to say. No, we get hurt and we all get hurt and some of us get injured and there's a clear distinction between getting hurt and getting injured. And I guess the best way to describe it is when you get injured, any athlete will tell you, number one, you know immediately that you're injured and it's going to be life altering. And basically it's taken out of your hands when you get injured, you know, uh, fate just sweeps in and just takes it right out of your hands. It's not something you can tough out or it's not something you can just grit your teeth and get through when you get injured. Now you got to have medical attention and, uh, it's, uh, it happens all the time in our business. Sad to say it's a tough way to make a living. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.